I really hope you're taking advantage of this opportunity and these videos we're sharing to better educate your patients in the community. So many of your patients have maybe a modest level of understanding of the real value of chiropractic, and of course the people in your community have little to no understanding. When I look right now at the states that have now called chiropractic an unnecessary business, I think, man, what a slap in the face, because if they really understood what this was about, they would know it's the most necessary business that exists today. And I wanna talk specifically about a couple of pieces of research that prove this. I've covered many articles so far through this video series, but there's a couple of things here that actually occurred, one outside of chiropractic, where I'll start in terms of research. It was a 2004 study by uh, the Journal of Orthopedics. Uh, and it, what it was talking about was nerve information and blood circulation. And what they did is they evaluated what happens when you have what they call the vertebral deformity, what we know as a subluxation, and the impact on the, the immune system. And you know, it's so every one of these studies, even studies by organizations that candidly don't believe in chiropractic, even organizations within chiropractic that don't really believe in the, the ultimate physiological power of chiropractic, have found there's been this immune response when you adjust somebody. And what they found in this orthopedic journal is that chronic nerve compression, you know, really big, because what are people coming into us with, even at five years old, chronic nerve compression, secondary, once again, to vertebral deformity, uh, you know, what we know as subluxation, specifically in the thoracic region, had a significant effect on the immune system. Significant effect. I mean, for a medical journal to say significant is a pretty big deal. So when I'm checking my patients now, and I get to that thoracic spine, I let them know this is so key. Keeping this area healthy is so key to how your immune system is functioning. That's what the research and medicine shows us. It's critical that we keep this area healthy during this time. As you may have seen me share in other videos, I'm suggesting an extra adjustment. So if you're coming in once a week, we now need twice a week. If, if it's three times a week, it's, you know, it's, it's four. If you're coming in twice a month, it's four times a month. Increase the amount of times you're being checked. I'm certainly doing that with my wife, with my children. Thank God I married a chiropractor, so she's checking me more than normal. We're certainly focused on every part of our life that affects our immune system more than ever before at such a time as this. And the, we've got research to prove it. The other study I wanted to share is just the viral implications of getting adjusted. So we know through research done at Life University, where I went to school, they looked at HIV positive patients. This is really bullseye research because this is a virus that came from animals that the human body had no ability to deal with, very similar to what we're looking at today with the coronavirus. And they looked at these patients and adjusted them for six months. And with HIV positive patients, what's really important when evaluating their immune system are their CD4 counts. And they found, and this is incredible how this worked, that after these six months of adjusting, they saw a 48% increase in CD4 cells. This is a critical part of immunity when it comes to fighting viruses specifically. And also what was neat is these measurements were taken at independent medical centers. So it wasn't biased research, it wasn't being taken by the people providing the care, again, who may have been biased towards the result. Uh, they were under medical supervision. You know, again, not chiropractic supervision, but medical supervision. Then there also was a control group not getting adjusted. And here's the other remarkable part for that group CD4 cell counts went down. There was a 7.96% decrease in CD4 cell counts over the same period of time. So the net for getting adjusted was over a 55% positive growth in immune function and CD4 cell counts for these people with HIV virus. So we know that, that there's the immediate power of what happens, that intense rise that happens right after a chiropractic adjustment but also there's the sustained growth, in this case showing a 55% growth in what happens as you get adjusted over time. So there's never been a more important time for people to understand what chiropractic is about, to stay focused on their chiropractic care, and adjustment is the greatest weapon people have in overcoming a challenge such as this. Bless you guys and remember who you are.